second and show you what I purchased from the grocery store today. So this is going to be just a quick grocery haul video. This is a vegan grocery haul video. So I wanna show you some of the things I purchased, why I purchased them, what I pay attention to, and maybe let you in on what I have planned for them, okay? So stay tuned. So we're gonna get right into our grocery haul. I went to two grocery stores today. I went to Whole Foods and I also went to Trader Joe's. I did not know Texas had Trader Joe's. I'm from California. We have Trader Joe's. I was just in Virginia. They had Trader Joe's, but I did not know Texas had Trader Joe's. So I went to Trader Joe's today for the first time and I've been in Texas for three years. So I guess I've been living in some bubble but i went and i just want to show you what i purchased okay so a couple of items are already outside of the bag i have some organic bananas we do a lot with bananas smoothies toast um snacks banana and peanuts anything like that i also purchased these ezekiel 49 sprouted grain tortillas now i've never had these um, and you can make tortillas yourself, but I figured I would give these a try. Um, they're protein, no flour, no yeast, no added oil, no baking powder. Um, and they have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven to eight ingredients, but it's all just wheat, things that you can pronounce. So sesame seeds and sprouted lentils and um, spelt flour, uh, sea salt, so things that you can pronounce are in these tortillas. So you can use these for breakfast, use them for lunch, dinner. Um, you can even probably put them in the oven, maybe just a little bit of plant-based butter, bring them out, put some peanut butter on top, top it with some bananas, drizzle it with some agave or some maple syrup or something like that, you know, top it with a little chia seeds, and there you go you have your breakfast, right? So tortillas can go a long way. Chips, anything like that. I also purchased some pecan praline granola. I love granola on top of my smoothie bowls. Granola you can just use to snack on with a banana. Um, so this is something that I've never had as well. But I also paid attention to if, um, it could contain milk or eggs or if it had been in a warehouse where those things were processed. This is the one granola I found that did not have that on the back. So it says may contain traces of almond, Brazil nut, cashew, coconut, and hazelnut. All perfect for me. So if you, you want to stay away from um, where it could have been processed with milk or eggs or anything like that, just pay attention to the back. Um, so I have a feeling this is going to be good because it's pecans and maple syrup, so a little sweetness there. All right. And I have some sweet and dried orange slices. I'm not for sure what I'm going to do with these yet. It's just something I picked up. And hopefully you all can see this. Okay, so this is just oranges, cane sugar, absorbent acid, vitamin C, sulfur, dioxide for freshness. I'm pretty sure it's something you can make on your own, especially now that I have an air fryer. I'm wondering if I can just, you know, do this myself. I probably can, but I have a feeling I'm going to use this in some type of um, lemonade type juice. I don't know but just some um, sweet and dried orange slices. All right. Vegan cream cheese. Dairy free, lactose free. Never had it, but I'm going to try it. Again, minimal ingredients. Um, some things you probably can't pronounce, but this is vegan. It contains soy and coconut. So if you're trying to stay away from soy for your own personal reasons, this may not be something you want to have. I say, you know, keep the soy to a minimum during the week. Um, I don't want to have a lot of, oh, soy products. So I kind of like to monitor my soy. 
All right, so that's a vegan cream cheese. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it just yet because I didn't purchase any bagels. Okay. I have some Quick Cook Trader Joe's organic brown basmati, basmati rice. Can't go wrong with brown rice, use it in stir fries. You can even cook brown rice and then freeze it. I've done it before, so I want brown rice just ready to go when I'm ready to go. So I will cook brown rice, put it in a sealed container and put it in the freezer, bring it out, warm it up, it's like you just made it. So make it easy on yourself. Pre-cook things, throw it in the freezer, but make sure it's sealed in the right container. All right. Then we have some seasonings here. I'm gonna bring all of these out. I hadn't been to this grocery store, so of course I purchased quite a few things, but trust me, I could spend a lot of money in there. Okay. So here I have some chili lime seasoning. You know, you never know what you could use this for. Red bell pepper, lime juice, sea salt, chili pepper. I have a feeling this is going to be really, really good on some type of taco, right, that I'm making. So that's a chili lime seasoning. Then we have stuff that I love. I actually saw Tabitha Brown with this and I purchased it while I was in um, Virginia and we used a lot of it there. Probably use it on everything. And so I have some here at home. I probably should have got a couple, but you never know. But I'm thinking about making vegan enchiladas and using this. So this is vegan chickenless seasoning salt. This actually has salt, onion powder, turmeric and garlic powder in it. So it's pretty good. There we go. Then we have some nori, fury, kai, Japanese multi-purpose seasoning. Also something I saw Tabitha Brown with. I'm not for sure if this is the brand she had, but I heard her talk about it. Um, so this I want to use in like a vegan tuna salad to give it like that fishy, you know, kind of taste. So that's that one. And all of these seasonings were, I believe, $1.99. So pretty cheap to me. Some onion salt here. Green onion, dried chives. Um, minced onion, granulated garlic. I'm excited about this too. And the one thing that a lot of people have been loving lately is this everything but the bagel sesame seed seasoning blend. This has become really popular lately. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. And then something else I saw from Tabitha Brown, I believe, um, Mushroom and Company, multi-purpose umami seasoning blend. Um, so kosher salt, dried onions, ground mustard seed, porcini mushroom powder, white button mushroom powder, crushed red pepper, black pepper, and dried thyme. Ooh, this, my friends, is going to be good. Can y'all see that? I hope you can. This video will, will not be great if you all cannot see what I'm purchasing. Okay. Let's put that there. Then I have some chopped spinach, organic chopped spinach. I'm thinking about doing a vegan um, lasagna. So I'm gonna add some spinach to that. Also from Trader Joe's, Ezekiel 49, just some regular bread. Um, this is sprouted grain bread, flourless, flourless, low glycemic, you know, um, so that's really good. Non-GMO, organic, wheat, barley, beans, lentils, millet, spelt. Uses for toast, 
you should pour whatever you like. You can do like a, a tomato, kale, um, avocado toast. Oh, one of my favorite things. I love avocado, so you'll see a lot of avocado on this channel. And now for my canned goods, put that there. Now for my canned goods. I have purchased a lot of jackfruit. I have so many ideas running through my head with jackfruit. So I purchased, let's see, one, two, three, four cans, I believe, of jackfruit. So I'm excited about this. Um, I've never used jackfruit um, in any of my meals. I've seen people do some fun things with jackfruit. I've heard good things. I've heard people who didn't like it, but I have a feeling what I make is going to be delicious. So I'm thinking something like an enchilada. So stay tuned for that video. I'll probably be making that in the next couple days. So, jackfruit, hearts of palm, I've also heard about, I've heard people make um, kind of like a crab cake, without the crab, of course, um, but hearts of palm, I'm gonna kind of think of some, you know, creative things to do with this. So I did purchase a few of those. And some coconut cream. I'm not a fan of coconut milk, coconut water, but I want to try this coconut cream in something a little sweet. So I just purchased it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet, but we'll see. Organic coconut and water. All right. So there we we'll have our canned foods over here. Now let's go with whole foods, okay? I love whole foods. I spend too much money when I go, but today I did good. Another thing I saw from Tabitha Brown. Can y'all tell I love her? Pretzel buns. She made that pretzel bun look so good. I forgot what she was eating, but she made it look so good. Contains wheat. So this is totally vegan. Um, has a few ingredients, but nothing that's too crazy. Nothing that you can't um, figure out or Google, you know. Non-GMO, certified vegan, um, no peanuts, made in a nut-free facility. So, be good on that pretzel bun. These are actually cheaper than what I thought. I think they were maybe $3. So, I thought they would be a lot more. So, here's that. And I don't know if I showed you all a close-up of the hearts of palm and the jackfruit. Red bananas. So I looked up red bananas and they, they have a lot of benefits according to what I found online, especially for people with high blood pressure. So as you all know, I don't know if you've been able to check out my website. I have a website called Eat, uh, Eat Plant Feel Better .com. So go to the website, check it out. Um, I have a little story on there about being diagnosed with high blood pressure at 32. I am now 34, so two years ago. It has been a journey with medications and all types of things and foods and hormones. So you'll see a little bit of the story there on the website, but visit the website. I just found these in the Whole Foods and I decided to purchase them. Didn't know um, what they were about. They just looked, you know, different and I purchased them and I looked it up um, and they have a lot of benefits. So not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. They did say you can freeze it, put it in a smoothie, freeze it, make ice cream, nice cream. Um, so red bananas. Also have some green baby bananas, or I don't know if I should be calling these bananas, Mazano, 
Manzano. Hmm, not for sure. I have a friend that makes french fries um, with a certain banana. I'm not for sure if this is it, but I will let you all know. So some of these things I just purchased because I saw it, it was cute, and I was like, oh, let me get that. All right, I have some VO Life smoked provolone slices here. I'm excited about this. I'm thinking something with that pretzel bun. Um, some type of sandwich, you know, with a provolone. Maybe kind of put this in some barbecue sauce, you know, throw a provolone cheese on it and see what we get. All vegan. So this is not actually cheese. This is a vegan cheese, a vegan uh, slice, smoked provolone flavor. This is just like Parmesan, Vio Life. I tried real life um, cheddar slices and I absolutely loved it. I actually made a grilled cheese sandwich. It was wonderful. So I decided to give these a try. This is Parmesan. You love cheese like me, you gotta figure out, you gotta find a vegan cheese that just makes you dance. Because if you don't, dairy is really, really hard. I love cheese, like absolutely love it. Okay, that's done. And for the last bag from Whole Foods, I have some unbleached flour. Now, I have friends that use spelt flour, and that's good. I'm gonna use unbleached flour. I actually may do food coloring. This is plant-based food coloring. Plant-based food coloring. Um, so, some cocoa powder. Red food coloring. It actually came with four in it. Okay. And that's all for that one. So this is what I purchased from the grocery store today. I spent about, I'm going to say $70 on these items. It may sound like a lot, but I have a lot here that I can, you know, I'm not going to eat bread every day. Um, I'm not going to eat the tortillas every day. Brown rice goes a long way. Cream cheese. Your seasonings hand down are going to last you you know, a while. So I think I did really good. You know, my more expensive items, of course, are the um, the cheese, things like that. So yeah, this is good. Thank you for joining me. I'm just gonna show you all the ingredients. I have the ingredients, the groceries. And let me know if you have any questions. I'm excited about it.